can be profitable with just one ebook. That is the thing. Now, as you start selling, things will develop. Ebooks behind, you can possibly create another ebook that might be related to the original ebook Nanerismo. Some may be asking you, uh, Saira, do you have an audio book in here? Because I really don't like reading, but I like listening. Or maybe, Saira, meron ka bang demonstration ito na video that I can follow? So it will evolve. That is why, lagi ko pong sinasabi, before you join IBMC, it appears like this is just about an ebook business. Okay? But once you're in, you will start to realize, oh, I can actually sell audiobooks, video courses, coaching program. That is why a lot of my students are made millions because they are not necessarily just a stick on ebook, ebook. Though I have students as well who made profitable just purely on ebook. Ang negosyo, it's not, it's never a linear thing. If you will think about it, and if you will, you know, ako po ay estudyante ng entrepreneurship, and I follow a lot of people, I read a lot of books. I really respect and love entrepreneurs. And if you will study their success, and this is one, something that I can guarantee you, none of them, none of them follow the same steps exactly, and thus they become entrepreneur. Kaya, again, if you will listen to different entrepreneurs, listen to different advice, sometimes, mapapansin mo, minsan may contradiction eh. Not because they are right or wrong, someone is right or someone is wrong, but it's just their experience on different industry might be different. Thus, give them, will give you different advice. Okay, I'm going to give you guys an example. So what am I trying to say is this. So think about this like a, like a puzzle, right? So I'm not really good at drawing but okay right so this is the ibmc program that you go through right that is the ibmc program that is just a big piece of the puzzle of your life right so your life your health relationships but this is it right so this is the ibmc program this is like the fundamentals and the basics of marketing and selling hiring freelancer product creation but if you're going to ask me, Sir John, um, what is like the one of those common denominators ng sabihin na nating mga successful students ko, and this will be it, right? So they took IBMC program, and then they, is this, they added a piece of the puzzle, right? This is their own thing, right? So they added themselves in here. Ito sila. This is, should be you. Do I make sense? Business building is never step one to ten and then you're successful. There will always be a piece of you that you would like to add. So for example, that is why I didn't create a program saying IBMC is for say how to create video courses because not many people would be interested to be a video courses, right? Or I simply focus on how to become an online coach. That is profitable too. I have, I have students like, 1 million in 60 minutes, <laughs> okay? 1 million pesos in 60 minutes. Who want to experience that, okay? But she's into coaching. But then again, coaching is also, it's not for everyone. Do I make sense? That is why you want to be who you are. That's one thing. And sabi nga ni Steve Jobs is you cannot like connect the dots looking forwards. You can connect the dots looking backwards. Ibig sabihin, looking back at yourself. Pause. Think, hmm, ano ba yung mga interest ko? Remember yung worksheet module 1 natin? But if you think about it, your first three pages is about you. It's just about self-discovery. Because for a very long time in our lives, especially when we were young, we don't know a lot of stuff in life. We tend to listen to our parents and auntie and teachers and pastor and whoever is in authority. And because of that, dahil nga bata tayo, right? They're not necessarily wrong, bad or evil. But they share something with us, to us, because sa tingin nila, yun ang makakabuti sa atin. And because of that, through the years, through the years, you, they happen. So ang nangyari po is naging dependent tayo sa kanila to a point that we tend to think that they know what's better for us. And because we rely so much on that, we tend to ignore our own intuition. We tend to ignore, ah, uh, okay, baka hindi to mag-work eh. Pero in really, in your heart, yun na yung sinasabi. 
Do I make sense? Wait, before you go, do not forget to click that red subscribe button below. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching.